Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a tutorial and I'm hoping that the tutorial turns out to be something pretty. We're going to try really hard to make it pretty. I have seen a lot of people who are doing the acrylic pours to do these really pretty bloom type flowers. I've tried it. I have the hardest time with them. As you can see, um, and they're usually round, and then they do some other things with them. But as you can see, my rounds kind of go oblong. So I remember when I was filming this, I was wanting the bloom to stay round, like right in this area of of my picture. Sorry, I'm knocking stuff over. Instead of it going oblong. So you can see the oblong type thing. I mean, this this was a tutorial. This was basically showing you how to make the little squirrely lines and stuff like that. But in my mind, I remember when I was filming this one, thinking, I wish it would stay round because I want it to look like a flower. I don't want it to look like, I don't know, like a centipede or whatever weird animal this might could be. So I thought about it, and I thought about it, and I thought about it. And then I thought, you know, I just need some control. I, there are several out there who like to blow on their canvas with, with their mouth. Okay, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> One of these things and what this is is a it blows air now you can put paints and stuff like that in this but I bought it for to move the paint around and for it to have air <clears throat> so we're gonna try to control my blooms or at least that's what I'm gonna try to do so I'll switch it down here and I've got all kinds of goodies down here and this will probably be a cut and paste uh, video which those of you are wondering how you edit videos, the video that, that cause I remember I, I promised you that I would talk to you about my successes that are coming along and my downfalls or uh, slow moving videos, stuff like that. The editing takes a long time and you'd be surprised how many of these videos that I film that I scrap. It's like, hmm, nobody wants to see that. I just, you know, I just can't seem to pull it together to make it into anything that anyone would ever want to see. But anyway, so this one will be kind of a mix your paints and go on sort of thing. <clears throat> okay, so down here, I, I have a tub now. Yay! Trying to control my messes. <laughs> I have a grid down here that I'm hoping will, uh, help me control my messes and that sort of thing we shall see we shall see it together and I have a little webcam who likes to record and then all of a sudden he stops so anyway everybody's got record on yep yep all right see red dots everywhere so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some of my paints what I have down here is I have um, some of this Coca Cola paints. They are in these little tubes, and I have picked out some what I would think would be some pretty colors for flowers. I've got a coral red, I have a carmine red, I have a pale mauve, I have a violet, and I have a pink. I also have some greens down here. I have, uh, uh, I don't even know how to say these. Buridan and Bellatio and green. But anyway, I got three greens here. And then I've got these little guys here that I used in one of my first videos. I just got, just in case I wanted some sparkle, I've got some glitter. And this is glitter paint, not like these guys where it's, <laughs> a challenge to work with, but uh, it's just close to me. Anyway, try to behave ourselves today. 
Anyway, so these do have a little bit of glitter in them and they're really pretty. So we can add some glitter to our pictures. What I discovered the other day was that when I was doing the compare and contrast with these guys, in this video, I'll link it down below, has probably been up for a while, was that when I added this guy to my paints, this is what happened. It pulled apart and did some really crazy cells and that sort of thing. So I had this idea that this would be a good, possibly, an activator. And activators are something that gets the, the paint to do something like make cells or webbing and that sort of thing. Marble look, that sort of thing. Okay, so what I have done is I have mixed some of my favorite colors. I got a white, which I used. Okay, these little guys. I've got, I used one of the whites out of here and one of the blacks with this guy and I had a little bit left over from uh, the gold uh, from the Dollar Tree so I've got big what am I doing? Oh, I'm pointing to the wrong stuff. <laughs> I have them over here. So and I've put little markers on them so I know what they are but I did a white activator, a black and I have a gold somewhere around what's oh, down here. Because these are my favorite colors to work with. So I, when I do the flower, I will throw probably the black in the middle to do the activating. So we'll see what happens. Okay. So let me put that down here so I don't lose it. These guys up here. Okay. It is so hot. Goodness gracious, I'm probably sweating. Probably like, gosh, she's got a shine going on today. So I also have, I found, I, I came across these, um, this artist canvas eight piece set, very reasonably priced. It can I'm off on um, Amazon, I believe, and I'll link the link below. And of course I've got my cups, and this is what I'm going to try to, when I blow the flower out, is to put this down and try not to let the paint do that oblong thing so it stays put. So we're going to blow the air around with this down in the paint. We shall see how that works out. So I also had these little little skinny guys. Aren't they adorable? They are just way too cute. So what I thought I would do, and they're just about the same size as these guys down here. So I'm, I'm on my cameras, I'm showing down here below. So I think I'm going to do when I lay them out, I'm going to do one on this side and it comes in a two pack and one on this side and then I'm going to do my design. We'll see how that turns out. All right. <laughs> so I want to do, I'm going to misplace this and not be able to find it, won't I? Okay, I'll just set it right there. What I'm going to do is a real pretty um, ribbon or vein. I call them veins. Or, and with the vein, I may use these two other little activators up here just to kind of see what they do, right? So I'm going to flood my canvas with white and I'm going to use my, I got a big old thing of white up here or somewhere. Wait, back on here. No, he's not very Are you hiding from me? I got some white over here. So I'm going to flood the canvas with the white. This is a combination of my white paint, um, some Floetrol, and knock my sign over. I got the garage door open. It's getting windy. There we go. Goodness. Anyway, so I, I've got some whites in here, uh, Floetrol, um, the flood Floetrol stuff in here. So I'll flood the canvas with this. We'll put the ribbon in. Once the ribbon is there, then we'll start working on the flowers. So this is going to take me a little bit to get all set up and get everything ready to go because I got a bunch of colors going on here. Got my little cups for the mixture of the paint and I'm going to leave the cameras going because I probably will pop in and say this or that. So here we go. So like I said, it'll be 
few minutes for me, or I would say like a few minutes for you. It would be a second for you and a little bit for me while I get everything ready. So, okay. Now, I'm going to do it there. Now, I've got my paper here. And like I said, i got these little ridges. See how the pinking shears do the ridges? I think I'm going to cut it a bit smaller here. So, what I'm going to do is drag that through the paint. Hopefully you guys can see what it's doing here on camera. I'll try to do some close-ups of it. So there's the, the vein part of it. I can do some in between flowers here. Hopefully the colors don't go muddy on me. Flowers that are escaping. That's okay. That's okay. We could do some little flowers, or maybe do the turquoise flowers in the some of these areas. So. Let's see if I can control my balloons. So, like I said, I've got this guy here. I'm gonna try it without it. But he's there if they start getting weird and oblong. So I'm gonna turn this guy on. Okay. Okay, you ready? Here we go.
my goodness. Let's see if I can. Interesting looking. Um, I mean, huh? It's very quiet looking and reserved looking. Um, there's a lot going on. I don't know. Hopefully, the cameras are picking up, and I may have to pick him up to bring him closer. Let me see if I can pick him up. He gets awfully angry at me sometimes if I pick him up. <laughs> okay. So just see. Look at that. That looks so cool. I'm hoping the focus is good. Oh, there we go. Sorry. I'm like, oh my god. Look at those cells popping up there. Cool. Now just sitting back down without him going face first and height. <laughs> there we go. All right, back for. Oh, <laughs> he thinks I'm stopping, starting recording again. Ah, he's so irritating. Okay. Yes. I yell at my camera. Okay. Let me get. Grab. I got a skewer, skewer here. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. I mean, it's it's really kind of interesting, and my blooms did stay somewhat <laughs> round, so I didn't have to use my cup. I think I might do this for you know a bigger a bigger bloom, but they stayed right where I wanted them to, and I think that was because of the way I didn't use the blow dryer. I think if I would have used the blow, dry blow dryer, they would have went. Every so I think it wouldn't have been as nice as it is.
Okay. And they kind of did a little bit right there. I don't know. But let's wait and see how it dries. And yeah, I, I think I'll probably go over just a little bit of the white here. It's kind of pulling away.